Wonderful. Was this something you would wear or back in the day want to jump around? Barbara was just saying she's going to, these are actually like Christina's shoes. shoes and she's like, I'm going to go ahead and just take these home with me. I'm going to yeah. wear them home. Yeah. Yeah. No one will know. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, you know what, and these were one of the, one of the things that gave me the idea. These are Christina's incredible shoes. She has a, a killer shoe collection and these are one of them. And, you know, we made a couple of, maybe a month or so ago, we made those fur pom-poms yeah, that yeah. we put on the back, these little guys that we made. And, yeah. you know, it's kind of petering off and it's, it's transferring into all different areas in fashion right now. So it started off with those those big ones and then it hit the runways where we saw Prinza Schooler uh, sent down the runway, these amazing little, you can see there, just really crisp and clean detail. Um, there's this one and then there's also a dress which is what gave us the idea for the one I'll be doing today. And you can see that dress. It's a really it's beautiful t-shirt oh, dress. Oh my God. And the pom-poms go up the center of it as opposed to just being a little mm -hmm. trim mm -hmm. at the yeah. end, you know? So this is really cool and uh, super easy to do. Do you, do you think they're, when you see that you think of pom-poms, you're like, oh, it's a little, you know, Kitchen. Childy, totally. yeah. But the way it's done there, it's very elegant. Yeah, and that's yeah, yeah. Ex and that's very true. And that's really the way that it's being done is in kind of a grown-up way, and it's incorporating yeah. some of these childlike things into yeah. really grown-up fashion. All what right. materials are we going to need to make this besides our pom poms? Okay, so when you're going to buy your pom pom, take a look. There are a couple different sizes. Not only is the actual trim. Um, the actual size of the pom-pom different, but the binding is different. Now, if you're going to sew it and you're not the best sewer, I would recommend getting the larger size because that trim is wider and it gives you more surface area, mm. um, whereas the skinny one like this can be a little bit more difficult to, to sew really well. And then you're going to need your garment, whatever you're choosing to do. And if you choose not to sew, some of this, which is called fabric tack, fabric tack, it's basically like super glue. That's for me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't sew. So <laughs> I'm going to show you guys um, the gluing option and uh, how we're going to do this. So this was a dress that I had. I'm going to tilt it up a little bit. It just had this lace detail down the side. And so I've decided to add pom-pom onto the end, very much like that Proenza schooler. Will you be one. able to wash your garment when using the tacky glue? Yeah, fabric tack you okay. can wash. You All can right. wash Good. on a gentle, a gentle cycle. Mm -hmm. okay. So when you're going to do this, I'm going to scoot up just a little bit. You're going to take your, your fabric tack glue and basically just follow the line that this already has. If you're doing it on like, let's say down a button placard, you're gonna go down the line that it already has. So we go like that, we have a nice little delicate bead. And when you're doing this, make sure that you look at your binding so that all your pom-poms are facing the same direction sure. so that this doesn't twist on you because it is so delicate. <clears throat> and then follow the line and just tap it into place. And that glue oh, dries easy. clear, yes? It dries clear, okay. it goes on clear, it dries clear. Um, you are gonna be hiding the glue with the, mm -hmm. the trim so you won't end up seeing it but you're just gonna follow the line just like this. It goes super fast, this stuff dries really, really well. And you could launder this or do you have to dry clean? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can put it in the wash, just do a, a gentle cycle. Now I'm gonna finish the rest of that, but I do wanna touch on a little bit on placement, different places we could do this. So I did it, this was a men's t-shirt that I got at Salvation Army and I just chopped it oh. and put this trim at the bottom. Oh, That's fantastic. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that was so cute. it was a small man, but it was a man. <laughs> I was going to say, it was a man. It had to be a little <laughs> tiny man. Now, um, Christy in our wardrobe department made these. These are so cute. I'm going to put my hand here so you can see. Look at that, right on the bottom of her black jeans. So if you wanted to do something on denim, you could either do it. So let's say you wanted to go on the bottom. Keep in mind that you can either take your trim and put it on the outside so that you see that binding, mm -hmm. or you could put it underneath so all you see are the pom-poms. That's gonna be up to you. That's just kind of a design detail sure. that, that yeah. you would do. Another place is you could just put it right there across the pocket. Love it. Mm -hmm. So there's one more tip, because as you were talking about the shoes here, I saw these at lunch and it made me so excited. There's, um, Aquazura is a brand that's making these amazing pom-pom fashion. If you want, there's the shoes. You guys, look at this. Oh Just my goodness. Double stick God, tape, I love tape with that. and pom poms. So if you have a pair of simple shoes like the ones I'm wearing, just go ahead, I'm not gonna actually do it, but you put your double stick right there and then just put pom poms all the way across and you've got instant pom pom, pom. shoes. Oh. And then when you're tired of them, you just take it off. Right? Take it right off.